Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Mathematics Parshala. This is a problem of CSA NET December 2023 Mathematical Sciences. This is the problem of real analysis part C. The question ID is 704064. This is a problem uh, from continuity and uniform continuity. So first we read the question. Let f such that close 0 open infinity to r be the periodic function of period 1 given by this. Further define g from 0 infinity to r by gx equal to f of x square. Which of the following statements are true? Option 1 is f is continuous on 0 infinity. Option 2 is f is uniformly continuous on 0 infinity. Option 3 is G is continuous on 0 infinity and option 4 is G is uniformly continuous on 0 infinity. So to solve the question let us first uh, try to draw the picture of this function fx. So clearly when x is between 0 and 1 then this fx is 1 minus this is 2x minus 1 if this is x greater than equal to half then this 2x minus 1 is 0 so this will be actually okay then we are writing this in the next line and this is uh, 1 minus of 1 minus 2x if x less than equal to half so then again uh, rewriting fx we have fx equal to this is uh, 2 into 1 minus x when x greater than equal to half and this is just 2x if x less than equal to half so just verify clearly f is like this this is half this is 1 from 0 to half this is 2x like this this is 1 that is 0 comma 1 point and from half to 1 this is 2 into 1 minus x 2 minus 2x that will be actually this straight line so this is the curve of f in 0 1 and as it is a, it is a periodic of period 1 so this will continue this will continue so this is the picture of f so clearly f is continuous on 0 infinity this is very clear because it is continuous on 0 1 clearly and also it is periodic of period 1 so it is continuous on whole 0 infinity so 1 is true. Then f is uniformly continuous on 0 infinity so for this let us try to prove so let epsilon greater than 0. Now let us start from fx minus fy this is 1 minus mod 2x minus 1 minus 1 plus mod 2y minus 1 this is in mod so this will be we can write this mod 2x minus 1 minus mod 2y minus 1 Enter this is in mod and this is less than equal to actually 2x minus 1 minus of 2y plus 1. This is because using this mod x minus mod y mod less than equal to mod x minus y. This is a well known inequality. So using this we have into mod x minus y now clearly clearly we have this mod fx minus fy less than epsilon if this 2 into mod x minus y less than epsilon that is if this mod x minus y less than epsilon by 2 so we will take this as delta 
So we'll take delta equal to epsilon by 2 and then we have for all uh, such x, y satisfying this mod x minus y less than delta, we have mod f x minus f y less than epsilon in such a way that uh, how uh, when we prove that f is continuous or uniformly continuous in uh, that method. Following that method, we can easily prove that f is uniformly continuous here or for uh, in zero infinity. So option two is the correct option. Now look at option three. g is continuous on 0 infinity so here uh, consider the function hx equal to x square and fx is given by this so clearly this is continuous this is continuous on 0 infinity and we just prove that fx is continuous on 0 infinity so clearly their composition that is f composition h that will be continuous on 0 infinity and just examine what is that f composition h actually. So f composition h x equal to this is f of h x and h is 6 x square so this is actually f of x square and this is our g x because g x is defined by this gx equal to f of x square. So we have this f composition h is uniformly, con uh, sorry, f composition h is continuous on 0 infinity. That is this gx is continuous on 0 infinity. So option 3 is the correct option. Now look at option 4. g is uniformly continuous on 0 infinity. Actually this will not be true. And the idea that gives us, actually we know that this hx equal to x square is not uniformly continuous, is not uniformly continuous on 0 infinity, we all know that. So, as gx equal to f of x square, this gives us a intuition, an intuition that this is not uniformly continuous on 0 infinity. And let us now show that. Let us now show that. So, to show that G is not uniformly continuous, let us take epsilon equal to just 1 and take any delta greater than 0. Now, we show that to show G is not uniformly continuous, we have to find such x, y belongs to this interval 0 infinity such that satisfying mod x minus y less than delta but we have to show mod fx sorry mod gx minus gy will be greater than equal to 1. So to show g is not uniformly continuous we have to find one epsilon, we have taken this epsilon equal to 1 such that for any delta greater than 0, there exists x, y satisfying this but this. If we can show, then it will be proved that g is not uniformly continuous. So now, let us take x greater than 1 and y equal to x plus delta y2, we have taken delta arbitrary positive number and we choose we choose x y this so both of them are in zero infinity and also mod x minus y equal to uh, x minus x minus delta y2 mod so <coughs> this is delta y2 is less than delta we now show that for this x and y and also we will take x in such a way that x greater than 1 by 2 delta and we will show for this x and y gx minus gy mod will be greater than equal to 1. So now let us calculate mod gx minus gy is what? So this is equal to f of x square 
माइनस एफ ऑफ वाई स्क्वायर मॉड सो दिस इज वन माइनस मॉड टू एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वन माइनस वन प्लस मॉड टू वाई स्क्वायर माइनस वन दिस होल मॉड नाउ दिस इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वन मॉड माइनस टू वाई स्क्वायर माइनस वन इन मॉड होल मॉड just taking minus 1 common as this is in mod we can do this so we also taken x greater than 1 so and also uh, y is greater than x so y greater than x greater than 1 so we have this 2x square minus 1 is positive and this 2y square minus 1 is also positive so it will be 2x square minus 1 minus 2y square plus 1 in mod equal to 2x square minus y square in mod equal to 2 into this is mod x plus y and mod x minus y so as here x and y both are positive so this is x plus y and as uh, y greater than x so it will be y minus x now putting this value x plus y x plus y so this is uh, y equal to x plus delta y2 and y minus x is uh, delta y2 this is and then this will be actually this two to uh, is cancelled and then this is 2x plus delta by 2 into delta this is 2x delta plus delta square by 2 so this is strictly greater than 2x delta and as our uh, x greater than 1 by 2 delta that is 2x delta greater than 1 so this is greater than 1 so now we have choose such x y satisfying mod x minus y less than delta but for that x and y mod gx minus gy is greater than 1 so g is not uniformly continuous in zero infinity so this option 4 is not true in general so here option 4 is not the correct option and option 1 2 3 are the correct options this is the solution of this problem thanks for watching